Yeah. It's gone so fast. I, I was here yeah, a year ago having a chat with you. Yeah. Since then, got an album deal. I've been flying all around the place writing songs. Well, yeah, because we, we heard that you were in Ibiza and we saw your um, new single at the end of SMTV yes! this morning as well. <laughs> um, so, is this kind of, did you go to Ibiza to pick up that dancey kind of vibe? Is that what you were? I was kind of. Um, almost completing the album by that stage, but I did two gigs there and it was my first time ever in Ibiza and it's a beautiful place. You've got the party town side and then you've got the beauty of the island. Yeah. There's magnetic islands and I loved it. I'd definitely go back again. Because you see there's been reports in the press over here that kind of um, clubbing attendance figures have been down and it, maybe Ibiza's losing its touch a little bit. Would you agree with that? It was more quiet and I kept trying to ask everyone what was going on but I think they said it's a, an accumulation of many, many things to do with the Euro and this right. and that and everything. So it's quite complicated but still a beautiful place to go. Excellent. Now, we heard that you were going to go head to head with Kylie and yes. your new single. But then <laughs> that didn't happen. What's the story yes. there? The real story is that for a moment in time we were going head to head, which was all really exciting. I called her in New York and said, oh, we're on the same date. But uh, it's quite boring, but in, with the record company you have a release date that you work towards and everybody in the record company is trying to get that date. And then you, you miss a week, a director's late to have a meeting to do the video and it slips back week by week by week. So I was October 7th, ended up October 28th. She started October 28th, ended up, and nobody ever goes on the date that you try to. Mm. It's just one of those things. So for a moment in time, we, we just crossed over. But it wasn't a case of her going, OK, you do it now, it you have a It wasn't that she got all scaredy cat and was it not? decided not to release <laughs> on the same date as me, no. It was just, I mean, we've always just done our own careers and whatever we're doing, we go forth with. And um, that, I mean, we'll probably cross in the charts somewhere anyway if I'm sort of still up there around the top and she's entering. So it's pretty exciting for us. Good. Now, there's been reports also about um, Kylie being overworked and being depressed because of James and, and, and just it all being too much for her and that she's taking six months off and, you know, she's really not very well and she's... What, what's the story there? <laughs> story is she's just finished a tour mm. and she's having a tiny, tiny mini break which she happened to have back in Australia instead of a break up, break off, crack up, crack down, whatever they're calling it. She's, I mean, it's normal for any artist when you finish a tour, you just take a little bit of time off at the end. Mm. And, I mean, leading up to that, she sort of worked two years straight. So mm. if I was her, I'd be, I'd be holidaying too. Absolutely. Well, I've, se I've seen her on stage and the, the sheer level of energy that yeah. she needs to kind of do it. So. She loved every minute of it, but she's sure. dying to get back again. So sure. it won't be long. She'll be working again. Cool. Well, good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us this morning. Stand with everybody. <laughs> Thank you.